Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand how to import or export subset in Tosca. So basically, first we'll try to understand what is the need of that. So whenever you create a project, could it be test case, module, or whatever, you have the option in Tosca that you can export it as a file. Now that file is going to have an extension called .tsu. Now you may need to save your work in a local file. You can do it like that, or if in case you're working in single user repositories, there could be a need that you want to share it with someone else or you want to keep it private and then use it for demo. So there could be n number of use cases. The whole process of importing and exporting is very easy. So let me click on, uh, let me search for Tosca Commander. So if I'll click on Tosca Commander and I will log into my workspace, I should have a particular, uh, like any test script or anything available for me to export it. So I have one test case created in Tosca Tutorials workspace. So I'm going to quickly show you how to export it. So let let it lo load. It's just going to take one more second. One, two. Okay. So our commander is loaded. Now, if I'll go to Tosca Tutorials here, I have created a test case. So let me go to directly to test case. Let me select the section. Click on test case. And here you see demo test is there, right? So I'll just click on this and here on the top, you'll be able to see the option import or export subset, right? So we are going to first perform the export. So it's as easy as just clicking on this and then it will give the location. So I'll say export demo and it is going to have the extension .tsu. I'll click on save. Okay. Now what happened is uh, every content of this particular test case has been exported there. Now that will include whatever modules I have created, uh, or whatever I have used in this. Okay, we'll understand that by doing the import. So this was how you can export and you can share and it can work in another person's workspace as well. Now, in case we want to import, we will click on import. And here, let's say I want to import this. So I'll click on this and I'll click on open. Then it is first it is going to pop up the option. So what happens is in case of standard modules, whatever standard modules are there, or if the modules are already present on your uh, in particular workspace, which is matching with that, it is by default going to give you the option to merge it. Okay. So it's a good idea to merge in case uh, uh, you do not create duplicate modules. Okay. So I'll click on merge. There would be separate cases in which you need, you can skip that option and then merge the modules manually if you have a lot of modules created, but that's an advanced feature. So we'll discuss that later. So see, the moment I did the uh, import subset, I got this particular section displayed here. Test cases underscore import underscore this. Okay. I'll click on this and here you will see you have everything displayed here. Okay. Now, uh, let's say I do not want to uh, uh, import my test case here. So I can always select the project folder level as well. So if I'll click on here and I'll click on import subset and I'll click on this. Again, it is going to give me the same option and my import is going to get settled in the test case. Okay, so here it is going to get populated. So you, we see that there are two imports. Now what happened is in case I will not select the merge option, then everything is going to get displayed because the modules, whichever I was using in my test case are already part of the module. So it has got merged. So I'll just show you the third scenario. I'll click on import subset and I'll click on this. And I'll say, no, I do not want to merge. I just want to import. Then in that case, uh, this is the third. So I believe this one is the third. So here you will see, I have a module imported in the module section as well, right? Standard uh, login, but this is already existing here. So we can merge those at a later point in time. This was a short video covering import and export in task, Tosca. Uh, one, uh, yeah, that, that wraps it up. Uh, in case you like my content, do like, share and subscribe and have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.